things will turn around for you when you trust and rely on the Lord. One way or another, He will either take your burdens or give you the grace and strength to endure and overcome. God has this habit of turning things around, turning the painful things, the things meant to harm you. He has this habit of turning them around for your good. So whether tomorrow holds great promise or great disappointment, my life is in God's hands. Weeping does endure for the night because we all have to endure something, some type of pain, some type of test. We all have to carry our cross. But as a child of God, in my deepest hour of pain, in the hour that I come to face my darkest sorrow, I have hope. I still have hope. And the source of my hope is in the word of the Lord. I look at Paul and Silas. They were in a dark place in prison, badly beaten and in chains. But in their darkest hour, in their midnight hour, what did they do? They decided to worship God. You see, in the darkest times of your life, your praise to God should be the loudest. Let God know your hope and faith is in Him. Let the enemy know you're not afraid of the dark. I may face difficult times, but I have hope and faith in the one above. You want to know something? As a child of God, in my deepest hour of pain, in the hour that I come face to face with my darkest sorrow, I have hope. I still have hope. I have hope because I have Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Scripture here tells us to seize and hold tightly the confession of our hope. Our hope. Now, I don't know about you, but my hope is in Jesus. My hope is Jesus. I will hold tightly and confess that if I need healing, Jesus Christ is a healer. If I need peace, Jesus Christ offers me peace beyond, beyond all understanding. There's a classic hymn that I need you to know. It tells you that your hope should be built on nothing less than the blood of Jesus and his righteousness. Don't dare to trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock, that's where you should stand, because all other ground is sinking sand. Now ask yourself, where's your hope? What's your hope built on? What ground do you stand on? My hope? My hope is in the living and active word of God. It offers hope for the sick, hope for broken relationships, hope for the sinner, and hope for the struggling believer. The certainty of your hope should be based on the Word of God, because in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's what makes it so powerful, more powerful than a two-edged sword. I have hope. I have hope because the Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. Finding hope when things aren't okay can prove to be difficult sometimes. And maybe you're in your darkest hour at this very moment. Perhaps you are thinking, what will I do? Or what can I do? Well, let me tell you what I've found in my walk with Jesus. Weeping does endure for the night, but Isaiah 40, verse 31 says, 
they who wait for the Lord. Or as another translation says, those who hope, hope in the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. It's in the darkest time of your life that your praise to God should be the loudest. At the point where you feel like giving up, you should hold fast to the confession of your hope. Hold on to Jesus. Let God know that your hope and faith is in Him. Let the enemy know that your hope and faith is in the Lord. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. So whatever situation you're going through, whatever challenge you're facing, be it in your marriage, in your health, or within yourself, the Bible says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him and those who hope in His steadfast love. This tells me that things will soon turn around. The things meant to harm you, God will turn them around for your good. So whether tomorrow holds great promise or great disappointment, keep your hope in Jesus. Keep trusting in Jesus. Keep believing, keep holding on, keep waiting. Keep praying. God will see you through. So when in doubt, be grounded in the Word of God. When you're feeling hopeless, stand on the Word of God. That's the foundation we ought to have. Never giving up. Never losing hope. Because Christ will never leave us nor forsake us. Whatever circumstances you face today, God will see you through. As long as you see yourself through the Word of God. You are more than a conqueror. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're an overcomer. You're a winner. Carry yourself the way that God has described you. Fill your mind with the Word of God. Accept what the Bible says of you. Believe you are who God says you are. You are a child of God. You are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. You are not condemned. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You are redeemed and accepted by Christ. You have been given a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. 